Okay, so we're looking at uh, graphs of functions that are split into up to three parts. So I've done one with three parts here. I'm going to read off it. You might be asked to draw one, um, but it's the opposite of what I'm doing ultimately. And it's, it's equations of graphs, equations of functions. You've done that plenty of times before. Now, I've also handily colour-coded each part. So I'm going to try and, and uh, write the answer the same. Now then... Um, first bit in red. Now, that line there is the, so first of all, f of x, all right? And that goes along at 2. So it's the y equals 2 line is how you'd normally do it. Now, that goes from negative 5, the x-coordinate, so it's here, all right, to here. Okay, not a very straight line, but there you go. And that goes to uh, negative 2. Now, if you put an equals under there as well, it's not wrong. Uh, we just don't tend to. OK, um, but there you go. Now, what you'll notice with lots of these bits, lots of these things, is that um, they will join up. All right. There is when you get to A level, you could have ones where they don't join up. And that's where the inequality signs are actually pretty crucial. But um, that's fine. Now, then the next one, you don't have to put the F of X again. Just put it underneath. Right now, that is the equation of the curve X squared minus two. OK, now that goes from here, all right, which is going to be the minus 2x, and it finishes here. So it's going to stop at x equals 1. Now, the last one, the green bit, slightly different shade of green, I apologise, what can I do? OK, um, is the y equals minus x line, OK, and it's going to go from 1 to here so it goes from here to here all right to five now that one can be an equal to as well all right so there you go so that's how you do it i'm just going to rub out uh, these bits here so they don't confuse you if you're looking back at this all right so there you go now the lot so that's the first bit stating the domain these are all the domains aren't they we know about that and these are the equations of each part of the function OK, now when we look at the range, now actually I might do this in gold, all right, um, we need to see where the range is what comes out when you put something in a function. So we, essentially, my entire function f of x, because the whole thing, all three parts, make f of x, OK, so the range looks like this. So it goes between uh, negative 5 and it's f of x because it's what comes out. So it's the y coordinate and it goes up to 2. And so there you go. There's the domains are here, what goes in. The range is what comes out. And that's where my graph is between uh, the y coordinates it's between. All right. Like I say, if you're drawing them, it's exactly the same. You're just doing um, parts of graphs and they normally join up, like I say. Well, they, in fact, at, at Further Maths uh, AQA Level 2 certificate, uh, they do join up. When you get to A Level, you could have ones that don't. But there you go. Cross that bridge if and when you get there.